This is a 05 F-150 with the revalve 5.4. I want to show you the driver's side chain timing set on it. I shouldn't be able to put my finger underneath here. You can see how loose it is. Um, the timing guide, uh, timing chain guide right here. Uh, in my other video, I showed you where it was cracked right here and then cracked right there. You could actually lift this out if you wiggle a little bit. Which is what the passenger side did. It started coming apart and did that. Uh, passenger side over here is completely gone. Um, tensioner is all the way out. I want to point out on the cam phaser, um, if uh, on the factory one, the uh, the L is for the the left side or driver side. That'll, you want that in the top position. Um, if it's not in the top position, then just turn the crank over one time. Put the L up top, and then whenever you look over to the right side, you'll see a dash mark. Uh, the factory uses a dash for the right uh, on the right side or passenger side. The L will be on the bottom. I'll show you over here with the new timing chain set. Um, this is basically how it'll be set up with the cam phasers and the chains. Um, down here you can see the, uh, the gear, the timing mark would be in the number six position. Uh, almost all chain sets that I've seen now are marked. Uh, the single um, painted uh, or colored chain will be with the bottom. Uh, both the left and the right will be like that. You can, you can see the other, the other link right there, uh, how it's colored. The single one goes on the bottom. And if you come up the top here, this will be the passenger side or the right bank with the R up top right there. The, on the timing chain, the one with the two links will go centered between the R. And on the left bank or driver side, it'll have the, uh, the left, the L right there. And then you take the two, um, paint, the two colored uh, links and center them on the L. And then that'll be correct whenever you, uh, uh, for the timing. Uh, you can see the old chain where it was rubbing the timing cover right there. It had been rubbing for a while. It cut into it quite a bit. I don't see any uh, breaks or cracks in the timing cover. So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and, and put it back on.